What's up peeps, it's your boy CJ, and today we're going to review the Nullable Terrain. Let's get it. Okay, here we are, the Nullable Terrain. Let's get some housekeeping out of the way. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Make sure to hit some comments down below of what you thought of the review. And give me a follow on Instagram so we can chat more. All right, let's get into it. So the Nullable Terrain has a case material of 316L stainless steel, case size of 39.5 millimeters, a case thickness of 12 millimeters, lug to lug 46.5 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters. The bracelet tape is down from 20 millimeters down to 16. It has a double dome sapphire crystal with the exhibition case back, which also features a sapphire crystal as well. The loom is C3 Super Luminova. It has a screw down crown, 120 click bi-directional bezel. We'll be talking about that later. 100 meters water resistance, features the Miyota 9039 movement. And this bad boy comes at the price of 849 Australian dollars, which is around 551 USD. All right, so here's the Nullable Terrain on wrist. As you can see, the case proportions are really perfect for that comfortable fit. I feel like they really maxed out when it comes to the specs of meaning what enthusiasts really want. You know, that 40 millimeter case size and then that lug to lug of 46.5 and that slight curvature to those lugs, as you can see, where's perfect. Let's get a pocket shot to see. So as you can see here, really nice. I feel like this will suit almost every wrist size. No problems in my opinion. Okay, so let's talk about this beauty. So let's talk about the elephant in the room and that's this bezel. It's clearly not your traditional dive bezel, which is something I quite like. This is actually a compass bezel. So for you that don't know, the compass bezel can be used by providing you true north, and that's always found in between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker. That should give you an idea of true north, and then you would use that positioning moving forward to work out your orientation and where you are. Really cool uh, addition to what is something that is really forgotten when it comes to the outdoors. I feel like it's a nice feature. This bezel also being bi-directional, has the option to be used as an actual dive bezel as well, which I quite like. It gives you that versatility to not only be used on land, but also in the sea. I'll be showing the colorways later on to sort of um, drive home that point that Nullarbor is really about the outdoors in terms of the different colorways that they have. So besides the bezel, we also have the screw down crown, which is signed with a beautiful Nullarbor logo of the Australian sunset. And yes, this is Australian made. I don't know if you can tell, the dome crystal sort of takes it away, but it's right there made in Australia, which is a nice touch at the six. That also sort of harps on why I've got the hands not at the 10 past two, but instead the 20 past eight, which is essentially down under, it's the opposite, which is something that the two owners, Abhishek and Shrey, uh, love to sort of point out uh, with the brand, which I, I, I like. It's all these little touches that make this something different. It also has a sandwich dial, very subtle, but uh, it's something that I really appreciate. I feel like a lot of brands tend to sort of forget about this feature because it really provides a lot of depth to a dial while even sort of character in terms of the, the difference when it comes to other watches, which I really like. The bracelet, so while these lugs are 46.5, you can clearly see there's a mill or two on either side with that male end link, um, which is a little disappointing to some, but I feel like because of the proportions that they made this watch, it's not too bad at all all brushed material. There are some scuff marks here, mainly because this is a review unit. Um, 
but I really like the, the tool nature of the brushing. The bracelet's really nice, solid end links all throughout, and has this beautiful polish on the inner portions of the links. Um, you got a nice milled clasp, two holes for micro adjust, a little disappointing, would like to see more. And then you got the Nullarbor logo on the clasp as well. And then you got the case back. So exhibition, but a nice uh, addition of the Nullarbor signed rotor. It looks like in bronze, which is a nice touch. And you got some details of the case back. So overall, really cool watch. Love the new take on something that's bringing that sort of adventure watch um, to use. So let's talk legibility. Um, as you can see, this creamy white dial with those beautiful brown sandwich indices make the contrast amazing. So in terms of legibility, the, the watch is a home run. The high polished ends of the actual hands and logo, while can be a distraction under bright light, as you can see here, I feel like the choice of the inside loom and how that is a different color to the white provides a nice contrast so that it's always legible. A lot of the time, polished um, ends of hands as well as logos and indices tend to get drowned out by the light. But in this case, it was a, I don't know if it was intentional, but a beautiful choice because it's extremely legible regardless of what type of lighting situation you're in. Let's have a look at that loom. All right, so the loom is pretty good. I wish it was more applied to the actual indices themselves. I feel like the hands and bezel will give the watch more orientation so you would know exactly what time it is just based off that 12 o'clock triangle because it is so bright as well as the hands. But the indices, as you can see, are fading out pretty quickly. So the loom isn't great, but it isn't bad either. I feel like it's a nice touch that they're placed on the bezel itself. I would have liked to see that Sun uh, logo loomed. I think that would be a really cool touch, uh, but nonetheless, not too bad. Okay, pros and cons, final thoughts. Um, I might be slightly biased here because I'm Australian. I really like the outdoors camping especially is a new sort of hobby of mine and I feel like this watch is perfect for something like that. The all brushing of the case gives it a really rugged look um, and then on top of that it, it sort of gives off this tool nature which I, I really like. It can be dressed up, um, I would say that this is a real versatile watch especially with this bracelet. You could easily wear this with the uh, maybe a nice blazer, you know, smart casual. I don't think you'd be dressing it all the way up, but uh, it's definitely versatile in that, in that case. Um, cons, as much as I love this bezel, I feel like because of it being bi-directional and if you were lost in, you know, the outback, you wouldn't want it to be this loose. Don't get me wrong, it's not totally loose, but I feel like a little added friction would help so that if you did bump yourself around um, from a more practical point of view, it wouldn't uh, knock you off course because that would be important. Um, other than that, I would say that the male end links is not the best idea just because it adds a little bit of that extra um, layering in terms of length, but because of the proportions of the watch themselves, it isn't too bad of a feature. Um, while I'm a big fan of a minimal dial, I feel some would find this a bit too plain. Uh, this is obviously subjective uh, based on your preference, but I, uh, I actually don't mind that at all. Um, some extra micro adjust would be appreciated, but uh, let's focus on some of the positives. I really do like the Outback style. Um, I find this compass bezel a feature that is, you know, less seen. Um, the only watch that I can think of is the Seiko Tortoise um, that comes to mind, but I would love to see more watches embrace this rugged outdoors sort of look 
and it's nice to see that uh, Nullarbor is not only doing it, but also from that Australian perspective as well, being that Australians love the outdoors, so it's, it's a really cool feature to see that. Speaking of which, the watch does come in three colorways, so you got the Outback Brown here, you got the Forest Green, as well as the Ocean Blue, all of which uh, really sort of drive home that, that outdoors lifestyle, which is really cool. The watch also comes on this beautiful NATO, as you can see here, as well as if you want to hit the water, this lovely rubber strap as well. So do check them out. Links are in the description below. Um, really a big fan. I think it's a, it's a solid home run from Nullarbor, especially with their first watch. Um, and I'm really excited to see what this brand comes, with, comes up with in the future. All right. Well, there it is. The Nullarbor Terrain, a really fresh take on what seems to be a dive watch, but is more something built for land and adventure. Clearly has that added benefit of being a dive watch in some ways, but it really is built for the outdoors. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think about the Nullarbor Terrain and also compass bezels in general, as well as other brands using compass bezels. I'm really keen to, to see what your thoughts are. Remember to like and subscribe and also to watch out.